What is up, you guys? Cario back again with another review, and this time it's for Ghost in the Shell. Now, uh, I'm not, and I know I'm late with this review, and not only with the review, I actually saw the movie, uh, I think, almost three weeks after it premiered. Uh, and that has everything to do with the fact that I went to New York, but you guys, uh, most of you guys know that already. So, yeah, I'm just gonna get into it, and... Um, I really like the movie. Um, I know that a lot of it's been like a mixed bag. Uh, I didn't want to watch any any reviews or reactions to this movie at all. Um, well, first off, spoilers and that stuff, and also I I don't want I just want to have the experience, right, uh, and ma make up my own mind without the influence of critics and stuff like that. So yeah. Um, I'm gonna have a little bit of spoilers at the end of the video, uh, but I'm trying to keep it as spoiler free as I can. At least I, I, I'll let you know when the spoilers show, okay? When they show up. Anyway, um, here we have Ghost in the Shell. Uh, what's important to know is that I'm not comparing this, uh, this movie to the original uh, movie from 96, the, the, the anime. Or the manga that came previously, or the TV series that came after. I'm not comparing it at all. I mean, similarities, of course. Uh, it's the same source material. Um, Scarlett Johansson does look like Major. She does. I really think so. Um, this guy who played Bato is awesome. Uh, Pilou Asbeck or something like that is his name. I'm probably probably mispronouncing it but he really does look like him it's really really cool uh, Aramaki is played by Takeshi Kitano uh, which is cool he's a really cool actor um, so I like that I like the fact that he um, he's such a well-known name and uh, he's Japanese and I am I'm just a big fan of his movies so, so it's really cool that they got him on board here uh, Michael Pitt as Kuse. We had uh, Togusa played by Chin Han and uh, Dr. Olet by Jolette. Uh, I believe her last name is Binoche or something like that. Um, now, yeah, I can't forget. Uh, Cutter, Cutter as well. Cutter is played by, I believe, this British actor called Peter Ferdanino or something like that. I'm, I don't know how to pronounce his last name. Anyway, this movie starts off, I mean, it's a future, futuristic movies, you all know that. Uh, There's really no point in me bringing that up, but it's like in the future, a corporation called uh, Hanka Robotics worked together with the Japanese government uh, in a project called Sector 9. Or, it's not a project called Sector 9, it's... Uh, a division of the cooperation is called Section 9, rather, and that contains uh, a few members, right? So uh, they work together, this corporation and the Japanese government. Um, Hanka, they have like researchers and doctors and stuff like that, and they just successfully manage to, uh, um, what's it called? To, to, to like imp imp implant a, br a human brain into a cybernetic body. If you know what I mean. Uh, so we have like a human mind, so to speak, the brain, and the rest is just like a, a robot or a cyborg or whatever you want to call it. So uh, that's what they they managed to do. Uh, as you all know, this character is um, uh, Scarlett Johansson's character, obviously, um, who has the lead in this movie. Um, basically, what they told her is that her uh, Johnson's character uh, is taken to Hanka after like an accident or something like that and just to save her they had to put her her brain into a cybernetic body that's what she's been told anyway now um, jump to a later to a year later or so and then we see major um, work with a group called section 9. Uh, led by Aramaki, uh, played by Takeshi Kitano, and it consists of Bato, um, Major, yeah, Bato Major, 
Uh, what's this other guy? Somebody else. Uh, I believe it's... Uh, what's his name? I always forget his name. It's This guy is played by Chin Han. The... Um, ah, Togusa is his name. And also... Another girl called Linda or Lydia or something like that. I don't remember. Anyway... Um, what happened is that... They're sent into a mission, right? Uh, you see like the cl classic... Uh, classic image of Major standing in a rooftop uh, with like an earpiece or something like that listening to a conversation that I believe an uh, African ambassador is having with a I think like a Japanese businessman or something like that they get attacked, people get shot uh, you've seen it in the trailer you've seen it in the trailer, they're sitting in this uh, Japanese uh, restaurant and uh, they have like robotic geishas and everything. I, I know you've seen it in the trailers. Uh, if not, check out the trailers, obviously. Uh, so that, that event happened and they go in there and they shoot up the whole place, basically. What happens is that they retrieve this um, robot from there that was actually hacking this one person. Because like in this future where, where this takes place... Um, <clears throat> Cybernetic enhancement is pretty common by uh, people. Not only the fact that they can make like a whole body with a human mind. We're talking like small things like uh, uh, better vision, bateau for example. Uh, like implants everywhere, right? So this, this person had a lot of valuable information. He got hacked basically. That's kind of what happened, right? So, so the hacking... Um, took place when one of these robots jumped on top of him and, and inserted two... Uh, I, don't know, I don't know what to call them. Like two... Uh, like a... Like this. Something very similar to this, like a power... But in the back of the neck. <laughs> and... Uh, and so, yeah, so he got hacked, but they retrieved that robot because they killed the robot, but they took it back. Uh, I'm moving along now just to explain the story uh, a little bit. Uh, they tried to hack the robot by sending a Major in there because she has the cybernetic uh, ability to do that, basically. Um, so, uh, she ended up getting hacked a little bit, you know, like a shock type thing they disconnect her and they didn't really know what happened she seems to be fine uh got patched up and nothing of it right but anyway um after that happened she starts seeing visions like a little bit and uh it's it's very interesting because the whole movie um how you call it without comparing it to the original one it has a very different pace. It's not like a... It's like a mid-tempo kind of movie. It's not like high pace all the time. As I thought I'd, it would be, you know? Uh, when I entered the theater. It wasn't at all. But it really didn't disappoint. I don't want you guys to believe that. Uh, it really didn't disappoint. But I, I, anyway, as I was saying, a lot of things happened. One thing led to another without spoiling anything for you. Um... She tries to get a hold of Kuse because it seems that he's the mastermind behind the hack or whatever. Um, they end up at this nightclub. Uh, something happens to Bato there. And uh, I, I won't say what that is, but it's pretty fucking cool. Uh, a lot of things happen, as I said, and uh, basically... I think Togusa at one point hacked a signal that could lead them to Kuse, uh, right? You see that in the trailer, uh, Johansson is, is like in a subterranean, uh, looks like a sewer almost, when she meets him and they start talking. Uh, it's very interesting what happened after that, but the movie, it moves 
like in the beginning it was very high pace and then it kind of drops a little bit in the mid in the mid section of the movie keeps on going it's a lot of information to take in but the character the character development is really good you're really invested in the characters that's the most important thing uh, also uh, what is very difficult for me to do or for many people to do is to let go of the fact that this the source material the manga and the original movie and all that stuff you know people want this to be exactly as as, as that you know with the mu with the music and with the uh, imagery and everything i mean the thing i can tell you guys is like as 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 the movie progresses it really takes you in and gets you i mean very invested in the in the in the in the plot and the story about major and everything that's that's what, how it was to me anyway and i don't want to compare it because it's not the same thing uh but it it i won't say that it's better or that it's worse i mean some of the stuff okay in the original uh anime she doesn't really blink you know uh but here she does kind of uh the way she moves is a bit strange i think uh but it's details you know uh, they don't take away anything from the fact that this was a good movie at least i think so this the man i mean the 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 the, the effects the the cgi in this movie is it's beyond anything uh, i've seen it's so fucking cool it's so cool it looks it looks so real you know I got the same feeling by watching this as I when I saw like uh, Blade Runner the first time. I was like, "Whoa! It's not as dark as Blade Runner. It's not. It's more bright and more gray, grayish. It's not as dark, but still, it's like, whoa! I really got got that. Uh, I like uh, the, the the characters in Section Nine. They're really cool. Um, very interesting." Um, especially, especially, especially Takeshi Kitano. I really like him. Um, he has this scene at the end of the movie with Cutter. It's so fucking awesome. You'll love it when you see it. I promise that. Um, everything about this movie and, and the 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 effects, the guy, it was really well thought out. It. I don't know if, if, if you remember the original anime, if you've seen it, how they, how, when they're shooting up walls, it, it looks like the same, you know, so they're really, the looks of it is, is pretty much the same. I really, I really like this movie, I really enjoyed it, really good acting, I think, as well, uh, great character development, and uh, I don't know, man, I, I, I'm really happy, I'm really happy, I thought... That it wouldn't be as good as, as it actually was. But no, I, I, I really enjoyed it. I really, really enjoyed it. The story was cool. The story was really cool. Um, I, I like uh, the suits for the Hanka uh, doctors and... and um, What's it called? The researchers. They look really fucking cool. The whole... Uh, the whole scene in the beginning of the movie when, when you see... Uh, major for the first time when they're connecting the brain to the body and that whole thing so fucking awesome spectacular uh the the, the cinematography in general in this movie is uh is really really something else i like the small details that they had here and there like uh, they didn't drop the fact that kuse uh, no not kuse sorry uh, bato always uh, goes in the alley and and gives uh, the dogs uh, treat every now and then they, they have like these small things you know throughout the movie that you could recognize if you if you've seen the the the, the source material or the original uh, anime or whatever uh, that doesn't really I mean for people who haven't seen that it's like whatever but you know for us who've seen it it's kind of cool so so it works both ways and that's what i really love at, about this movie because I, I went to see this movie with jenny she hasn't seen the, the manga or uh, read the manga or seen the anime i've read the manga i've seen the anime and i've seen some of the series after as well uh but we were both pretty pretty happy when we get out of the theater so that's just us i don't know 
But guys, uh, if you have seen the movie, let me know in the comment section below. Let me know what you thought about this. And uh, hopefully, I'll see you guys in the next video.